Welcome to the Vance Hobby Lab. Today I'm going to be talking about inverse kinematics using my spot micro build as an example. Be sure to stay until the end for a demonstration. Now first off, let's talk about forward kinematics. What are they? Forward kinematics is a method of deriving the foot position from known servo angles. Now this is more of a hardware perspective because the hardware doesn't really care about the position of the foot. It only cares about the angles of the servos. The position of the foot is just derived from the angles of the servos and the length of the arms. Inverse kinematics, however, go in the opposite direction. They find a servo angle from a known foot position. This is more of a software perspective. Software usually needs to control the position of the foot. It doesn't care so much about the angles of the servos. It does, however, need to calculate the angles of the servos in order to feed the hardware. Why does this matter? The simple answer is because it's easier to program. For example, if you're building a simple naive walking gait, you may move the foot position up, forward, down, and back again. It's a lot easier to program if all you're concerned with are these four positions. It's a lot harder if you have to keep track of these servo angles throughout these movements. In order to calculate the angles of the servos, we're going to need to brush off our trigonometry. For a refresher, first off is the Pythagorean theorem. a squared equals b squared plus c squared. This is a great formula for calculating the length of a side, but unfortunately it only works on right triangles. Next, we have the laws of sines and cosines. These are great for both calculating the length of a side as well as the angles, and they will work on all triangles. Where to start? I'm going to start with this pivot point here. This is the shoulder joint. It is going to rotate the whole leg assembly along the arc in the YZ plane. The position of the leg along this arc is going to determine the length of the leg D, which is going to be needed to calculate the other two servo positions. In the YZ plane, Y and Z are given as inputs. A was already measured to be about 40 millimeters. Our goal is to calculate D and omega. To calculate D, we must first calculate C using the Pythagorean theorem, where we get C equals the square root of Z squared plus Y squared. From there, we can calculate D as D equals the square root of C squared minus A squared. We can then simplify that down to D equals the square root of Z squared plus Y squared minus 1600. We can then calculate omega by first calculating alpha equals the inverse tangent of z over y and beta equals the inverse tangent of d over a. Omega is then just alpha plus beta. This can be simplified to omega equals the inverse tangent of z over y plus the inverse tangent of d over 40. Now moving to the xy plane. We know x is given as an input and E and F are measured to be about 120 millimeters. D was already calculated in a previous step. Our goal here is to calculate theta and phi. To calculate phi, we first have to calculate G using the Pythagorean theorem as the square root of D squared plus X squared. We can then calculate phi using the law of cosines as G squared equals E squared plus F squared minus 2EF cosine of phi, which can be factored to phi equals the inverse cosine of g squared minus e squared minus f squared over negative 2EF. This can be further simplified to phi equals the inverse cosine of g squared minus 28,800 over negative 28,800. Now to calculate theta, we first must calculate alpha as the inverse tangent of x over d. We can then use the law of sines to calculate beta with the sine of beta over f equals the sine of phi over g, which can then be factored to beta equals the inverse sine of f times the sine of phi over g. We then calculate theta using alpha plus beta. This can be simplified to theta equals the inverse tangent of x over d plus the inverse sine of 120 times the sine of phi over g. 
These are the equations needed for the inverse kinematics for a single leg on spot micro. All these equations are in terms of x, y, and z. Before the demo, be sure to give this video a like if you found it helpful. Okay, let's start the demo. I'm starting off by just moving the foot back and forth along the y-axis. Now, I'm going to start moving the foot back and forth along the x-axis. I also programmed in a naive walking gait, where the foot moves up, forward, down, and back again. If you found this helpful, be sure to give me a like. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.